I'm going to explain how H5P packages fit and work within your typical website. So there are two ways to get an H5P package within your website. One is the embed way. Very similar to how you would embed a YouTube video. So we have here a website that's displaying an H5P package. Uh, maybe with a multiple choice question. And somewhere on this, there'll be a little button that says embed. When I click that, I'll get some code with some instructions like, it'll say iframe equals something, something. That piece of code I can then put onto another website. So here's my website, and I want to display that chunk of content on, onto my, my website. So I just need to make sure that I've copied that iframe equals blah de blah, iframe equals. I copied it into a text box or something on my website, just as you would place a YouTube video. And then when I go to display that website, it will show this multiple choice question sitting in it just as if it was my own piece of content. That's one way. So that's the embed way. Okay. The second way of displaying a piece of content in my website is our source H5P package with the multiple choice questions is to download it and actually make a copy of it. So we'll see a button down here that says download. So we take that, it gives us a package of content that will contain things like images, maybe some text, and a whole load of instructions about what to do with that text and those images. Instructions about it being a multiple choice question, a drag and drop question, or a presentation, or so on. So we downloaded that package of content, we stored it on our computer somewhere, and then we upload it into our own website. Now, the, our own website has to be specially prepared so it can understand that. At the moment, there are three website systems that can be prepared in that way. There's Drupal, WordPress, and Joomla. All three of those are open source, free website systems. They're called content management systems because they do exactly what it says there. They, they're designed to manage content. They're not learning management systems. They're designed to manage the content that you might want to use, maybe, for learning. We have to prepare these, these systems by putting in an H5P plugin. H5P plugin. Now what that does is a piece of code that our system, when, it, when, it's, when it's running, it can run that piece of code which can then interpret these H5P packages. So when we have our prepared website and we upload our H5P package into the website, what it does is it takes all the stuff from here and puts it into the database that sits behind the website. So it's storing the content, managing it in its own way, so that then you can display it and edit it. And that's the key thing. This isn't a static piece of content, it's editable. 
So we could change things like the title of it, we could change the questions, we could change images, we can change anything we like about that piece of content. So here's the process. I'm inside WordPress, I'll set it to add a new H5P package. I'll go and find that package. And then I'll click create. So that's pulling that package in that was previously created somewhere else and immediately I've got all the images, all the, the text and all the actions that that text does. But I can also edit that package right there inside my website. So I can change the image and I can change all the text that is going to be used within it and I can change the actual interactions itself. Once you've got a website that's prepared with an H5P plugin, you can then also add new H5P packages. You can create them from scratch. You don't have to download one and start from there. You can start from, uh, from a standing start and add in new pieces of content exactly as you want to build them. So, to summarise, you can take a piece of content and embed it in any website or you can download it as a package and upload it into a prepared website using an H5, that uses an H5P plugin which then lets you edit things and create H5P packages from scratch.